Welcome to Northwest Missouri State's Geoscience Museum. My name is Natalie, and today I'm going to highlight some of my favorite pieces housed in this space. When you first walk in, you'll see this impressive T-Rex skull. Now, as real as it may look, this is actually a facsimile or a replica. Our version was created using a mold of the original Tyrannosaurus Rex skull and is likely made from resin, plaster, or plastic. However, this is one of the only fake fossils you'll find in this museum. We have a preserved mammoth tooth, some fossilized fish, and an entire, very real, mosasaur skeleton. As an apex predator, this bad boy would have been at the top of the marine food chain 80 million years ago. Mosasaurs ate fish, turtles, seabirds, sharks, and even smaller mosasaurs. And while this species had two rows of teeth, they weren't for chewing. Instead, mosasaurs would tear pieces of their prey apart. Their big jaw would open wide, and they would eat animals practically whole, just like snakes do today. This makes sense because mosasaurs are distantly related to modern-day snakes. As they swam, their massive and powerful tail would swing side to side, which propelled them through the water, slithering at almost 30 miles per hour. Around the time of the mosasaurs, places like Kansas and Missouri were entirely underwater, which is why 80 years ago, paleontologists found the remains of this sea creature in Fort Hayes, Kansas. As you can see, most of its spine and tail are in good shape, but right now it's missing a skull. As we speak, Northwest students and faculty are working to reassemble our mosasaur's head, which sustained far more damage than the rest of its body. They're using a moldable substance called epoxy putty to recreate skull pieces that are too broken to be saved. They're also putting a new sealant on some of the bones to keep them from disintegrating. Once the restoration process is complete, this 22-foot mosasaur could be worth between 80 and $100,000. But to us, this fossilized piece of history is priceless. Unfortunately, our mosasaur doesn't have a name, but that will be changing soon. Starting March 19th on Northwest Museum's Twitter page, we will be hosting Mosasaur Madness. For the next few weeks, you can join us in voting for Mosasaur names, bracket style. The two most popular names will battle it out on April 5th, and our fossilized friend will no longer be nameless. Thank you for joining me on this mini tour, and if you'd like to see more of the Geoscience Museum or any of Northwest's other five campus museums, just let us know, and I'd be happy to show you around.